What's up guys, I hope you're doing really well. Mark here, back with my first Adobe Illustrator tutorial in ages. I haven't done one of these for such a long time. So anyway, uh, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I created this um, cool sort of, I don't know what to call it, but I'm just gonna call it like a stairwell crescent thing. Um, I made this 100% in Adobe Illustrator. It's really quite easy to make. Um, it'll only take a few minutes once you, once you know what you're doing, which is uh, what you're about to learn. So uh, just before I do this as well, probably worth mentioning that like with Adobe Illustrator, there's so many ways that you can create something. So just because I'm showing you this particular way doesn't necessarily mean it's the only way um, or the fastest way. It is super fast though. Um, but yeah, so you might find other little tips and tricks along the way um, to, to speed up this process. But anyway, so I've got one here, as you can see, um, one I prepared earlier, but now what I'm gonna do is just jump into a brand new document in Illustrator. Um, I've just got a, black rectangle in the background. Well, you don't have to do that. I guess you could work on a white background and just use black lines. It doesn't really make any difference. Uh, and then, yeah, I've just made a, a new layer and just locked that background. So what I'm gonna do is just grab the rectangle tool on the left-hand side of my screen. And uh, I'm just gonna draw a rectangle to start. Cool. So I've got my rectangle and this is actually gonna be the outline. It's gonna be the actual, you know, the stair, well, the, the entrance way, I guess you could call it. So now that I've drawn my rectangle, I'm just gonna hit A on my keyboard. That's gonna grab the direct selection tool or the white arrow. It's underneath the normal selection tool on your tool menu. I'm then just gonna click and drag and select these two top uh, corner points because I only wanna uh, affect these two. Then I'm just gonna click and drag on this little circular icon here and it's gonna round the edges for me. So I'm gonna drag it all the way in and it gives us that kind of semi-circular arch shape. So yeah, pretty, pretty easy, so there we go. Now I'm gonna make a new layer. Uh, I'm actually just gonna lock this layer just because when I'm making these steps and stuff, I don't wanna move it by accident and stuff like that. Um, not really anything more fancy to it than that. Gonna grab the rectangle tool again. And I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here, grab the rectangle tool and we're gonna draw the steps now. So I'm just gonna draw a rectangle from end to end like that. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is I've, I've select this just with the normal selection tool. That's V on your keyboard, um, by the way. And I'm just gonna click, hold down Alt and Shift and click and drag all the way up and it's gonna duplicate that shape and it snaps to the other one so I can make sure they're all right against each other all the way up. Then I'm gonna select both of these two and do the exact same thing just to speed the process up a bit. And then I'll select all four of them. Do the same thing again. Uh, I'll probably need one or two more so I'll just grab the top two. There you go. So now we have our this will be our steps. We just need to space them apart. So, excuse me, now that we've got our steps, how do we kind of stagger them apart, right? It's surprisingly easy. So um, on your screen, uh, in Illustrator, what you can do is go to window up the top of the screen, scroll down, click on align or shift F7. Not like you're ever gonna remember to use that, but anyway, um, click on align. And it'll open up this align tool that you can see on my screen here. So you'll need that open for this step. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and select the top stair. I'm just gonna hold down shift, drag it somewhere over to the left. Then I'm gonna grab the bottom one and I'm gonna drag it just a little bit out to the right. And I'm holding shift again as well. Now I'm gonna select all of these steps. And then on this align tool over here, check this out. We can click on uh, distribute horizontally horizontal distribute center, sorry. Uh, and you can see that it basically will automatically create the perfect or an even amount of space between each of those steps and separate them for us. So um, that saves us having to worry too much about getting those dimensions right ourselves, basically. Um, so if I were to just grab all these and drag them over, um, they're a little too close, right? Like the, there's not enough uh, distance between each one and it doesn't leave us with much space either. So what I'm gonna do is grab the top one, hold down shift again and just drag it a bit further select them all again, do the exact same thing again, and it will just keep spacing them apart for us. Uh, and again, it's still, uh, you know, it's too uh, steep, I guess is probably a word I could use to describe that. So it's too steep. I'm gonna drag them a bit further now. Same again, getting better. And you can basically just keep playing with this uh, until you get a result that you're happy with. So I reckon that's probably looking about right. What I'm gonna do as well is I'm just going to select all of these and drag them all the way well, drag them a little bit further to the left because I like actually having the bottom stair with a bit of a gap next to it as well. You could have the um, the full one. What did I do on the example? Yeah, see, I left a little bit of a gap here. I do like that look a bit better, but you know, up to you, of course. See, so, yeah, I'm gonna grab those and just uh, nudge it across to the left a little bit again. 
I think that looks pretty cool. And we didn't end up eating this top step either, so I might as well just delete it. Cool, cool, cool. So looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Um, so with these steps now, how do we get rid of all this excess stuff? Uh, really easily, we're just going to use a clipping mask basically. So I'm going to uh, duplicate the layer, this this um, outline stairwell here. I'm going to duplicate this because I don't want to affect the original one. So I'll just duplicate the layer. I'll drag it in front of our steps and I'm going to lock the original um, stairwell again. I just don't want to affect it at all. I'm going to select all of this. So I'll grab the outline plus all the stairs that we just made. Then I'm going to right click it and just make a clipping mask and it will basically clip off all of that, that excess and hide it for us. Um, and the reason we do this rather than going through and deleting them, well, first of all, it's, it's fast and super easy. But if I decide I want to change this spacing again, I can always go back into my clipping mask and I can re-edit those steps and everything. So it preserves all the original elements, I guess. So yeah, super, super easy stuff. Cool, cool, cool. So. Um, Again, I'm going to lock these. I like to make a habit of just locking layers when I'm working on top of stuff. And that way I just never have to worry about accidentally selecting the wrong thing. So now what we're going to do is make that crescent shape. So um, you can see I had the, the crescent here. Um, also, just for the record, you might be wondering, I have a bit of a thinner stroke on this one um, than I did on this example here. The stroke was just a bit thicker, but we can easily change that um, if we like anyway. So no big deal. Anyway, so making the crescent shape super, super easy. I'm going to grab the ellipse tool this time. Oops, sorry. I'm going to grab the ellipse tool this time, which I believe is L on your keyboard, and I'm going to draw a circle, again with a white stroke. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate this circle. So I'm going to go Control C and then Control F, which will paste it in front. So I now actually have two circles here, one directly on top of the other. So you can, if I drag one across, you can see it. Um, and then what I'm going to do is actually scale this top circle down a bit like this. And then I'm going to hold shift when I click it and drag it over to the right so they meet up. And you can see here that we're starting to get that um, that, that crescent shape there. And then one way that I like to do this, because um, I don't want to have this full join here, like it's a full circle, I want it to sort of come to a point and then have a bit of a gap there, sort of like the uh, what you can see in this example one here. So the way that I do this, and um, I've seen a couple of ways to do this, but this is just the way that I do it. I'm going to grab this front circle, the small one, and just nudge it across a bit more. So I just nudge it across twice then. Then I'm going to select both, and then I'm gonna use the Pathfinder tool. So if this isn't already open on your screen, you just go to Window at the top, go down to Pathfinder, and it will open up the Pathfinder panel. And I have mine just here. And then what I'm gonna do is select minus front. There you go. So now you can see that we're starting to get that shape. Now, unfortunately, it's looking a bit pointy and a bit weird. So what I can do is just select that, and then with the stroke panel over here, so again, window and then uh, stroke, if you wanna open this one up, by the way, I've already got it open, obviously. I'm gonna set the corner to be round, and that'll just help fix it up and just make it look a bit nicer. Cool, so there you go, super, super easy stuff, and there you have it. So that's literally all there is to it. Um, if you wanted to change the stroke and stuff like that as well, I'm just gonna unlock all these layers again, select everything, put the white stroke back on, and. As you can see, we can start to make that as thick as we like as well. So there you go, super, super simple stuff. So I hope that made sense to you guys. Um, if anything didn't make sense, by all means, just ask away in the comments and um, I'll, I'll try to get back to you all as quickly as I can. And if there's anything else that you've seen around that you wanna learn how to draw or create in Illustrator, by all means, just let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks.